Hello everyone! So in the last video I got quite a few comments about people saying that uh, the section that I'm testing with the heart right and left turn that that should be handled by autopilot much smoother if I would slow down before that but the fact is that it is the speed limit at that point and autopilot 1 when I was driving that in my P85D was capable of handling that situation perfectly so that's why I'm testing that with autopilot 2 but let's see if you guys are right okay so the first step we are going to do is take our control test so I'm going to hit the corner or the uh, turn at 70 kilometers an hour which is roughly 43 miles an hour <clears throat> and this is our control test to see whether or not slowing down actually has a different effect on autopilot so let's hope we don't have anybody coming the other way hands on steering wheel as always let's go it's slowing down to 65 speeding up a little bit again it's taking the turn really wide but it is handling it but as you can see both on the dash and on the video the car is actually going way over the lines um, and it's basically too dangerous to do that or to trust in that so let's do that again but this time at 60 kilometers an hour okay <clears throat> second attempt we are now at 60 kilometers an hour again hands on steering wheel let's see if we stay more within the lines on the same section it's a little bit better here car doesn't slow down anymore of course because it only slowed down till 65 now we're at 60 which is roughly I think 38 miles an hour something like that so yeah it's doing a little bit better now let's try that again at 50 kilometers an hour okay so third time third attempt 50 kilometers an hour which is around 30 miles an hour I think so let's see how the car handles this again hands on steering wheel it's still yeah it's it's doing better it's still going to the to the outside of the lane but it is staying just within the lane markings um, for daily driving this is a test of course but for daily driving I would still not feel comfortable doing this at this speed so this is a section that still needs improvement we've seen that they've improved already so I'm guessing in the next few updates this will become pretty much perfect as well um, so yeah looking forward uh, to testing those uh, those next versions so yeah speed does matter it does it a little bit better if you go 50 kilometers an hour or 30 miles instead of 43 miles or 70 kilometers an hour um, which is kind of uh, logic or logical but yeah uh, I'd still like to see some improvements there and as it it is the uh, the legal speed limit so um, we should be able to handle that and the AP1 car can could handle that I don't know about the uh, the current one I should actually try if I can find one I can lend for an hour to do this test with an AP1 car as well for full comparison of the latest software updates but uh, yep thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye